Hey everybody, in this video we're going to do a simple score counter um, and we're going to learn about uh, static variables. So real quickly I'm going to make my world. We're not going to make it too fancy, but you want it to look decent. So I'll do this sand too. Reset. There we go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new subclass person and this person will just be the stick figure and I'll save the world. And they are going to collect apple food. And you can put these around the screen. And we want a way to, first of all, move and detect and, and grab these and then keep track of how many we've caught. Now, if we go into person and we can have them move around. So if greenfoot dot is key down left set location to get x minus 5 get y and then you can actually copy and change some of the symbols here and then you can control shift i to line it up looks like i got five when i meant to get four here and this can be right and that'll be a plus this can be up that'll be minus five and then for down will be plus five down and there we go compile test make sure all the directions work how you want it perfect okay now we need to collect them so now you can put a comment and say eat so we can't do if is touching because is touching expects a class and it doesn't have um, an object individual object you can look at so you need to do actor uh, apple equals get one object at offset um, or you can get get one intersecting is a little bit more like that is touching get one intersecting intersecting object if it's of the food dot class so we're detecting if the person is intersecting with the food dot class and if they are we're going to call it apple so if apple does not equal null or does not equal nothing so meaning there is an apple there uh, we are going to get world dot remove object uh, apple now we run it we can move and we can remove the apples now we come to the score counter so your score counter um, we're gonna make static and static means there's only one so a quick Google search will show you that a static variable is common to all the instances or objects of the class meaning if for some reason Apple had a score each apple would have the same value for that variable score um, but in this situation our my world is going to have a variable for score um, in other words you can say that only a single copy of static variable is created and shared among all instances of the class uh, static variables are also known as class variables unlike non-static variables such variables can be accessed directly in static and non-static methods so if we make a public static integer um, that is score and set it equal to zero we're going to need to create an act method because we want it to continuously update as the world is getting built so public void act we'll do show text um, and the text we're going to have to show is the score colon space and give a space and then we're going to add in our variable that can change that will be changing while we're running the code um, so that'll be changing in the act method and we'll put it at 50 25 okay that'll give a little bit more room for the word but it'll still once we run it have it on the upper right corner or upper left corner um, now we need to have score count up and the great thing about a static method is you can reference it in any class so this person's class as long as you name a class name a variable my world so we'll name uh, my world and we'll call it this game just so you guys know are aware. OK, 
Okay, so whenever we reference this game, it won't know which version of my world we're running. But if we're referencing a static integer, since there's only one, there's going to be one score, no matter what, one score when we're running our game. And so we can do this game dot score. So we can reference score in our my world from this game. And we can say plus plus. So every time we eat an apple, our score will add up. Run it. Boom. Now we have a very simple, easy to use score counter. Okay, a couple things you might notice is if you reset and you run it, your game will be at 6 and you can add up to 12. And so we don't necessarily want that to happen. Um, since it's static, it stays as this is. Even if you're resetting, you're not reloading the whole uh, Greenfoot application. Now, but if you go into your world and recompile, that will have you have your score go back to zero. Um, you can also have in the prepare method, you can reset every time you re-prepare your world, you can say score equals zero. Then if you run it, you start off at zero. And if you reset, you're back to zero every time you run the run your game. Okay, if you want to have your score show up at the very beginning, just have your show text also be in your prepare method. Okay, so then it'll always be showing up and it'll update while we run the game. All right, so that's it for simple score counter. I hope you guys enjoyed this little mini lesson and it gave you a good understanding of how to use static variables and how to create the simplest score counter in Greenfoot. Hope you join me next time. Thanks.